like right now, it's very swelly for us. Uh, being a very tiny boat going the opposite direction. And they have a seaplane. <laughs> they put a GoPro on uh, and they were flying it. God, it was that was hilarious. so funny. One of the really interesting things about the Mississippi River is that you really get to see a different side of the United States this way. <sighs> this is not our favorite angle. Hi, we're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we left the United States and backpacked through 11 countries, all before deciding to come back home and try something completely new, pivoting into boat life. Our current adventure is America's Great Loop, a 6,000 mile journey through small towns, big cities, and the wilderness from the eastern portion of the United States, through the Great Lakes and Canada, and down the Midwest rivers, all aboard our home on the water, Pivot. Make sure you subscribe as we share our journey through the highs, lows, and everything in between. Ollie, what are you doing? Good morning from, from Kaskaskia. Kaskaskia River. And we are currently at the Kaskaskia Lock and Dam. <laughs> we had a great night's sleep last night. Excellent. Uh, a lot of loopers left really early in the morning. There was a little bit of fog, but it was beautiful. Yeah. We decided to wait and you know let everybody else have the pack. There's no locks today, and uh, there's plenty of time to get to the next anchorage. So we got some work done this morning, and now it's time to get back to the mighty Mississippi. Let's do it. Since today will be a full day on the mighty Mississippi, we're gonna share with you some interesting facts. And uh, hopefully today, hopefully today is like our other cruises on the Mississippi so far and it's very enjoyable. Because uh, Mississippi gets a lot of flack on looper forums and prospective loopers, but it's been beautiful so far. So let's see. Nothing short of incredible what these barges are doing, pushing up so much weight against three and a half knots of current. It's crazy. And it like right now it's very swelly for us. Uh being a very tiny boat going the opposite direction. Uh and it's like those seas are like crazy. They're like it's very calm today, but now with these seas it's like I don't know, this is like two or three foot swell. Uh, two or three foot period and uh, like, luckily we're beating right into them because it, it's, whoa, it's a lot
It's actually pretty large. It is pretty big. <laughs> Our friends, uh, new friends, actually just met them on the loop uh, in Peoria, Illinois. But they're on detour and a couple of Canadians and they have a seaplane. <laughs> they put a GoPro on uh, and they were flying it. God, it was that was hilarious. so funny. I hope you get the footage to that. That was definitely the neatest toy I've ever seen on a boat on yeah. the loop. Definitely the funniest toy. I don't know, like <laughs> it was doing like pirouettes and yeah, acrobatics, like, and then it and then it uh, hit the water and crashed, but it floated. So that's the important part. Hopefully the GoPro is still there. Yeah, that's that's, so that's cool. Yeah, I kind of want one. <laughs> Cruising on the Mississippi River is pretty spectacular. This body of water has a very long history in the United States, and I won't get into all of the history. There's just way too much to talk about. But I do want to talk about some of the facts in terms of the scale of the Mississippi River, also known as the Mighty Mississippi, for a good reason. The Mississippi River is the second largest river in the United States with the first largest river leading into the Mississippi River, which is the Missouri River. The Mississippi River starts in North Minnesota and it flows south 2,340 miles. That's a really, really long distance. It practically spans from the northern part of the United States all the way down to the southern part of the United States, which is just wild in terms of how big it is. And all of that watershed together encompasses an over 1 million square miles water basin. The total drainage basin is over a million square miles. That is just so large. The fact that so many rivers in between the Appalachian Mountains and the Rocky Mountains flow into the Mississippi River means that this river has a ton of water going through it and a ton of current. Now current gets stronger as you go downstream. It is a lot less strong as you are upstream, but this river is pretty mighty, not only in its speed, not only in its scale and how, how vast it is, but also in its beauty. We have absolutely been loving our time cruising on the Mississippi River. interesting things about the Mississippi River I think is that you really get to see a different side of the United States this way and in particular what I'm talking about is the barges we're just able to see how so much product or material is transported throughout our country or one of the means of transportation to move the materials so this might not be the end stop but this might just be like a middle ground and the barges on the Mississippi River are huge. They are so large. We are coming up to probably the largest barge that we have seen so far. We've seen several like 15ers, but coming up is a 25 barge. So it is five wide and five deep, really big. And it's really important to be very mindful of the barges because the barge will always win, always. Doesn't matter your boat, they will win. Always. We are coming up to our final destination of today, which is an anchorage called Little Divergent Canal. Now, this anchorage, what I think it is, is kind of like a uh, overflow type of thing for the Mississippi River. And so it's supposed to be pretty narrow, pretty small, um, and we're definitely the last boat coming to this anchorage. So I hope that there's room for us. Otherwise, it's not going to be a fun night. Although maybe we could raft, we got options. Um, and it's not charted. So we are going to basically be coming in nice and slow, checking our depth finder and really seeing um, our depths to make sure that we're not running aground or whatever. So we're gonna kind of come in as center as possible and then go from there. Thank you. 
This is not our favorite anchorage. I think there's maybe like between maybe eight and 10 boats in this anchorage. It was a little tricky getting in because you have the current of the Mississippi pushing you south on the Mississippi River. So as we're trying to hug the north bank, it just, it gets tricky. At least said that there's plenty of depth, so that was good. As we came in, we realized that everyone had a stern anchor out. So what we have learned is that we have to all kind of do the same thing. If one person has a stern anchor out, they're not going to swing with the pack. Whereas if one person's swinging, they could potentially swing into the boats that aren't moving. Um, so we decided to do a stern line just because that was the easiest thing for us. And it came out okay. Um, the riverbank is super muddy. So I basically rolled up my jeans and got in the dinghy and then kind of like got close to shore, put the, uh, what's it called? Yeah, the paddle. The oar, yeah. I put the oar in the mud so that way I, in kind of like deep in the mud. So that way trying to get out of the dinghy and into the slippery mud, I wouldn't like fall flat on my face into the mud. That worked out well. We put our anchor line, our stern anchor line on a, like a, a tree in the mud. Tree stub thing. Pretty sturdy, right? Yeah, I mean, it feels pretty sturdy. I don't so, know. We have like super light winds. Yeah. Tonight. I'm less than like five knots out of the east. But I did not get a good bite on the anchor, which this is the first time we were, that we've ever anchored where we did not have a good bite. You know, yeah. new, new anchoring style. And there's super, super light winds tonight. So, so I don't know, what our, our plan is basically, I put on like a really tight anchor alarm. It's like 60 feet. I marked where we are currently and we're gonna check it once before bed. And this is kind of like just an overnight stop. We're all leaving at basically dawn tomorrow. So it's not anything that we need to hold and there's no gales or anything. So, I, you know, I think it's gonna be fine. You know, every situation is different. So also it's very muddy here and very soft mud. So like you kind of want to have your ground tackle sink, sink in the mud a little bit um, before you back down on it. And I was doing it alone because Jen was doing the stern line. So. All in all, not our best anchorage in anchoring style, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, so we'll see what we say tomorrow. <laughs> We're keeping it real with y'all. It's very real. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're just gonna have to clean it, so. Ollie jumped off the dinghy and went, this is the ground. <laughs> Her chest was like on the mud. That was great. Another day on the mighty Mississippi. And another day on the loop. You it never was... know what you're gonna get. Yeah, today we kind of had an afternoon cruise, which is not normally our favorite. We like to get it done in the morning, but that's just how it worked out with work. So we made the most of it. It was a, still a beautiful day. It's just, sometimes you get tired. You know, even if it's just a trawl, you're not sailing. It's still tiring because you always have to be aware. You're in the sun, you know. You're very mindful of barges. Yeah, you got you got crazy currents, and in, in any waterway, you have to be um, focused. Not just the Mississippi, but yeah. Anyway, that's where we are. Yeah, we appreciate you watching our video, and we hope you stay tuned for tomorrow whenever we leave, leave. at O Dark Thirty. Yeah. We don't actually have that many miles, but tomorrow. We'll be finishing the Mississippi. Yeah, so I hope you stay tuned for that. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Now, the Mississippi River, the river, the Mississippi River, the Mississippi River, this body of water is pretty much known. This body of water is The bugs nice. are out. Yeah. <laughs> I hear it's good for the skin. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens to the skin afterwards. <laughs>